Yo, what's going on guys? This is Brent again. In our last tutorial, we set up server-sided API, and in this tutorial, we're gonna set up our client-side interface for that API. Check it out. Adding customers and deleting customers. So, stick with me. So the first thing we need to do is the, anytime we navigate to our customer page, we wanna load all the customers initially. So let's go ahead and create a new scope object, scope.customers equals an empty array that we're gonna hold all of our customers in. And let's get that correctly spaced. Then we're gonna do an API.customer.query, which will return an array. Um, we're not giving it any parameters and it's gonna take in a function that returns the data that we want. And then we're gonna populate customers with that data. So scope.customers equals the data. So let's save that. Okay, looking at our customer API.html partial page, we see that right now all we have is a form. But that's really not how I want it to look. I want it to look like uh, two columns where we can look at all of our customers on the right side and input uh, customers on the left side of the form. So let's go ahead and create a um, div row. And inside this div row, we'll create a column that spans half the page. So uh, div column md6 and inside that what this is where we'll put our form this is, will be the first one and then let's tab this out proper spacing delete this one and save it and check it out so let's refresh this page here We'll go to our project snippets, customer API, and we'll get this far enough for it to be medium resolution. And now you can see our form only takes half the page, and this is where we're going to list all of our customers. Okay, so let's add our next column. So div column md6, oops, and then inside here we're going to create a table. And up here we're going to add a table head. And inside this table head, we're going to add three headers, name, phone, and address. So th name, th phone, and th, not thr, th uh, address, if I can spell. So I just formatted this a little bit. But in the table row, um, we are now going to do an ng repeat directive for every customer in our customers array. So in our table row, ng repeat um, customer in customers. And then our first table data will be customer dot last name, comma customer.firstName and then a new TD um, for customer.phone and then a new TD for customer.address.street and then I'm going to just copy this because we're going to be using this a little bit um, the first one will be street, then we're going to break, and then customer.city, and then we'll add a comma, customer.state, and then we're going to add a break again, and then it'll be customer address.zip, and I think that should be good. Let's save it. So if we refresh this and check it out, Go back to our snippets here. Okay, we have our form. It's got our first and our last name, a phone number, and an address that we formatted. But it, the table looks pretty ugly, so let's go ahead and fix that. Um, it needs we need our bootstrap stuff. So class equals table, and I also like table hover, so it kind of changes colors as we hover. So let's refresh the page. Gosh. And then now, okay, it looks a little bit better here. So now when we hover, we got different colors that kind of go across it, and it's a little more spaced out. So let's create an icon to click on so they can delete the customer from the database. Um, so new TD, and then a new icon 
of class equals FA. And that's font awesome. And FA trash for the trash can icon. And then we're gonna have ng click. When they click on it, it's going to execute a delete, the delete function that we'll create here in a second. And we're gonna pass it the index in uh, with the uh, money sign in the front of it. And that is a shortcut for the index of that specific customer in the ng repeat. Um, so that's how we can access the index of that object. Okay, so go back to our customer API controller. Um, and down here, we're gonna create a scope.delete equals function that takes in an index. And then what we're gonna do is api.customer.delete. And then let's go back and look at our API service really quick. And you can see that it takes in an ID if we want it to. Uh, so it, it looks at the ID of whatever we're passing it for it and then passes it to our server via the ID tag. So um, what we can go down here is we'll say our ID equals, now let's get the ID of the customer. So scope.customers and then use the index find that specific customer in our array and then look for their ID and then that will select that in our uh, service and in our uh, server. So now we can do function data we'll get back an okay or something like that and as long as we get something back at least for right now we're just going to scope that customers dot splice and we're gonna remove them from our array locally um, index and then one which will remove them so let's save that so let's go check it out <clears throat> now we have a uh, trash can icon here um, and if we click on it we can see that it gets removed uh, from our array um, we can add new customers and still uh, remove one from the middle remove it from the top and right now yours will not have a cool little animation like that we'll talk about that in the next tutorial okay so let's add one more here then we're going to test to see if uh, our database is up to date oh i added two by accident so we got fred soup and turtle soup and then let's go back to our terminal here we'll create a new terminal and um, we'll do mongo and then we'll do db.customers.find.pretty and let's see if it's listed uh, our two um, customers. So we have Fred Soup here and we have Turtle Soup here. So we did it. So that's it for this video. I feel like it was a pretty good one. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, go ahead and post them below. I'm pretty good about getting back to everybody. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. And if you're feeling generous, go ahead and check me out on Patreon. And I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.